Welcome to another episode of Dizzy Discovery. Uh, today we're going to be exploring an abandoned mill. It was an accidental find, um, but it's worth exploring. I've not been able to find any access into the place yet, so hopefully um, we'll have another look around and see if we can get access to the place, but it's highly unlikely. So I've got no internal images or anything of the building. But as you can see, it's this little beauty behind me. Um, I'm hoping to get around about 30 minutes or so out of this. Uh, there's not really much to see. Um, but uh, when I got here, I did have a fully charged phone and a fully charged camera. When I went around the rear of the building, um, my batteries went flat, just for no apparent reason. Don't know why. Um, there's not much left on this camera, so I am open to get what I can. It, this video might not end up being 30 minutes or so. Might be a lot shorter. Let's come across this place. Middle of nowhere, as you can see. And I came across that. I'm going to see if I can get inside and around the front of it in a bit. But it's definitely, definitely abandoned. Um, see if we can get a bit closer. Uh, the weather is terrible at the moment. It's hailstorming and snowing and raining all at the same time. Love it. Alright guys, let's see if we can get a bit closer for you. And oh. What's that? Looks like there were another building here at one time. But nature has took its due course and took it back. I think that's what's happening with the remainder of the building. There's some of this tree here. I've got to be careful where I'm treading here because this edge is very, very close to this little lake, I suppose. But it does look beautiful around here. It's secluded. Let's have a look, see if we can get closer. Sure we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, look at that. You guys see that there? Yeah, definitely abandoned this place. It's just been left to nature to take it back oh, close to the edge here guys and this is not far away from where I did the uh, abandoned pub uh, last year and if you guys have seen the video you know why I won't be going back there on my own that's nature too he's taking this back there's the old chimney stack still a Standing, but well, looks like most places to get into here have been sealed. We'll see if we can still find another entrance. Let's have a look over here. Well, this little lake fills up there. And empties here, I think. I don't like to follow down that off. guys I don't know any history about this place as most places I visit but I will find out as much as I can for you uh, maybe do a voiceover on the uh, video give you a bit more information 
to work over here. Right, let's hope this here does not collapse underneath me. <laughs> Obviously someone's been in at one time. Interrupt this program for a special news bulletin. Let's go. Oh, shit, you know what? This thing is full of vandal paint, I think. It's all over the bloody phone. I'm going to pause it here, I'll resume in a minute. Uh, I managed to get the vandal paint off my phone. All of my gloves, right? That's why it's always a good option to wear gloves when you come to places like this. My advice. There's the old stack still. I'm going to see if we can get round to the first of the stack in a bit. Then we'll go back the other way we came. There is that way, which we're going to try in a bit. We'll go back the way we came and see if we can do another track round the front. Uh, look at all that. That's where all the band degrees come from. I never really touched that though. Must be all on there. Yeah it is. Alright. Uh, take this chance again. I think I'm taking too many options with this ace of staying up. Another reel, always bring good footwear for all conditions. See if we can get around here. I don't think there is a path around here. Actually, that's what I don't want to be doing. I don't want to be falling over this crap, especially in this weather as well. Steps there. Can you guys see that? Zoom in on there. There's steps there, so. Really small bloody steps though. Let's see where they go. I think they're steps. They're little here. Got a tree growing out of the side of the hill covering them.
No, it's not steps. It's a grid. It's like a gate. I don't think there's a way around there, guys. I don't fancy trying to get up that bit. Well, it's all wet like this in the snow. Slush. Airstorm, whatever you want to call it. All of the above. Trying it. This is mad. It's like it's built into the hillside. <laughs> Look at it. Right, the side of the building. Right, what we'll do? We'll go around the other way. I think that's a safer option. Get closer to the stack. Yeah, we'll go around the other way. We'll pause it there and we'll resume at the other side. Alright guys, <clears throat> really sorry but I'm going to cut this short, I don't know why, my camera and my phone were fully charged before I came here and they both, well my phone's gone totally flat and the camera is now flashing at me telling me it's going flat but I don't get it, so I'll have to cut it short, Let's see if I can get a few shots around the front, well I've still got the camera working. I do apologise about the uh, the footage if it's a bit pixelated on the camera. I think I found a way in, guys, but I don't know where the that is. I'm just surfing up. So it is on a bit of a shoddy roof. And with all this anti, anti vandal paint everywhere. Hey guys, I do apologise about the footage today. I'm doing it off my camera at the moment instead of my phone. My phone tends to do better footage on the camera. Um, this is where we are at an abandoned mill. Now, I'm going to get some information on this after. Looks like a big steel pipe or something, that. You guys can see that, it looks like mud, doesn't it? Yeah, can't see it. Yeah. 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 This looks like a newer part, but it's still abandoned. It's all built by Brazebot now. Um, obviously, the mill is very, very older. Very, very older. <laughs> Doing the best I can here, guys. I'm hoping the battery lasts. As I've said before, fully charged phone and camera before I came here. And the phone's gone totally dead. And uh, the camera is going flat. Now it looks like, I don't know if this used to be part of the mill, which was probably internal at one time. And then these buildings have been built onto it. As I said, if you guys worked with me earlier, this is um, the focus is kind of rubbish on this camera um, I've been using my phone but everything went flat on me it was fully charged before I got here um, now these from what I've just read these are cork ovens um, so I believe there was internal at the one time they have a footpath going through the middle of them 
uh, along the top. So I don't know what a coke oven is. I don't know what I think it was, but it's highly unlikely what I think it was. Um, so if anybody can comment below and tell me what they think it was, what a coke oven was, I'd appreciate that. Um, but I do think they were part of the mill over there. One time I think all this were internal. As you can see there, there's. I think that was an internal wall at one time, rather long. And then the units there were added on when the place fell apart. Uh, the units have been abandoned as well now, but they obviously are newer. They were uh, built with breeze block. We'll go down the centre of the path here. I know there's not really much to see. I'm trying to get around the front of the mill uh, to see if there's any way of getting in, but I think it's highly unlikely, guys. I'll go around the back, it's full of uh, vandal grease and got covered in it, so it's unlikely. But we'll see if we can get a few shots from around the front. As you can see, nature is reclaiming this spot from the cork ovens. <laughs> nature always had a tendency to take back what's left. We think we control it. And then nature shows us stuff like this. As I said, it goes straight along. Um, it looks like it continued, because that looks like it was a coal coven as well. And it's obviously fell apart and decayed. And that, but it looks like they were all arched. So I don't know what went through the middle of here. Obviously, I don't think people walk through here at all. Um, too small, maybe children. But uh, you never know. <coughs> May have just been water to cool the ovens down. Maybe. I don't know. But we'll have a look over here now. And as you can see, why I think it was internal. Because there's still rem remnants of it. Get my words out. Remnants of the building. Why I think these were definitely internal at one time. Well, something else was there at one time. I don't know what was there. But now it's, the sun's come out. It was hail storming, snowing, and raining about 20 minutes ago. And now the sun's come out. Right, we're going to go around the front, guys, so I'm going to pause it there. Now, this path I found, obviously, very, one of the old pebbles, or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call these bloody bricks. Um, but you know what I mean, it's one of the old roads, paved. You know, runs right along the tram line. Excuse my language, don't know why I swore it. But Now, this obviously was an external wall to the mill, and I think they were internal them ovens over there that we were just talking about. So enough about the ovens. Um, I am trying to get better equipment, guys. Now, I have got a Patreon account. I don't have any Patreons at the moment, but I'm hoping to get one or two. Um, if you do, um, it's Dizzy Dis Patreon's Dizzy, Dis Dizzy Discovery. Um, and if you do contribute and help support me, um, it all will go to better equipment and more explores and you'll also get a mention you also get updates on there as well that you won't get on the channel or any any of the other social media platforms Yeah, now we're right in front. Yeah, it looks really, really sunny, doesn't it? Would you 
believe 20 minutes ago it was hell storming, snowing and raining. windows in it so maybe in the 80s they might have uh, intended to reconstruct it As I said again, I, I keep apologising for the focus on this camera. My phone battery's gone flat, which I normally film. There's a stack. Now we'll, see, we'll go up to the base of the stack. some modifications at one time obviously Whatever, as I showed you before, on that chim chimney stack, they had that extension, that metal that tubing coming from this area. I don't know if you can see that though. So I don't know what this was used for at one time. What they burnt in here or something. But there seem to be any burn mats. There seem to be heat mats in that corner though. They could have used it for heating for the mill, maybe. Focus on him. More of the filming. Look at that. Grown into the tree. Oh, the tree's grown into it. Just 
Obviously the gate house or something.